one of the things you said you you got you got on that on that symposium was that you were thinking about what is the future of the of the continent if we don't control many things like our telephone inter internet information security that all that i do agree we need to have more control on the continent on our, in our countries i'm pro africa very pro africa mm -hmm. but i don't want us in our drive to develop africa to separate ourselves from the rest of the world yes okay i don't want that yes because it to become us trying to go back mm -hmm. okay in the, uh, in, in those days uh, uh, every empire does everything they need mm -hmm. no see i believe that what we need to continue to do is to collaborate yes okay so in as much as I want us to build fantastic universities in Africa, and I see yours is just going to be one. I think we need several. Yes, many. We need okay, many. Maybe up to 100, 200, because our continent yes. is big. Yes. Okay. But whatever we do there is in the, it's for the progress of humanity yes okay so we will develop certain things re research certain things and mm -hmm. collaborate with other universities all over all over the world in yes. the progress of of the globe what do you yes. think so uh very good point as you always do you know your questions are pertinent so the problem we have, the world has always been a field competition. Mm. So when I talk about a country that, that has no control is telephone, is internet, yeah. is data storage, is information, uh, there's storage and security. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, he's a uh, uh, search engine. Mm. So when you look at all of this, we'll, in the world of competition, leaders have a, a leader represent the people, and uh, they drive the future of that of, of uh, the people. Yeah. So, in this world of a competition, somebody else, another country, may be ahead in such or such thing. And countries have separate. The secret is everything you have. Each country has its secret. But if as a country, you don't control your telephone system, you don't control anything, who are you in this world? <laughs> the question is, who are you? Yeah. Of course, in many fields, we're going to cooperate. Okay. We in a global uh, world, we talk about global economy. Mm. Everything we do, we do it together. The economies are being developed together. This process will continue. Okay. But I want to come to information. Information is like the blood in the veins of a people. You have to have some information that are key to your security, to everything. And uh, if you cannot control those things and you are being listened, and uh, I mean, it, it is a big, big, big problem. I, so, I do agree too. I do agree yeah, with you totally. Yes. So yes. that is why I'm talking about that specific uh, area. Okay. I'm yeah. That specific area. Yeah. And one other thing uh, that I, I wanted to talk about, you know, I'm linking that to the past question. Yeah. So the type of school we want to build, we want to make sure the foundations are strong. Because at the end of the day, the student take classes, go to the classes, they listen to the teacher, they take note. But in the tech world, you go to the labs, there's maker spaces, to the research centers, 
that is where you deepen what you listen and the notes you take into the, in the classroom. That is where you deepen them. Uh, and that is where inventions will be born. Ex innovation excellent, will take, excellent. Innovation excellent. will take place. Yeah. So in Africa, mostly as I've been saying, we have been you know, <coughs> training half engineers. I don't know if I can call them half engineers, maybe. I, 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 understand, I understand engineers you. <laughs> for, I mean, per se, just per se, read books and you become an engineer. The hands-on approach, that is uh, the foundation of everything yeah. in the labs and all these things, we don't have it. 